اذا اعزائي اعضاء الهيئه الاكاديميه اعزائي الطلبه والطالبات راح تقدم لنا الاستاذه سناء عبد الرضا اسيستنت دايركتور اوف ماركتنج اند بزنس ديفلوبمنت في بحرين بورس بورصه البحرين محاضره قيمه وراح تتناول فيها امور كثيره الغالبيه فينا او الطلبه بالذات ما عندهم فكره شنو دور بورصه البحرين راح تعرفنا لنا الكثير ان شاء الله في خلال النصف ساعة أو خمسين دقيقة القادمة راح نتعرف على أمور جديدة تفيدنا في سواء في مجال الدراسة أو في حياتنا المهنية إن شاء الله الأستاذة سناء عبد الرضا تفضلي شكرا I can share my screen صح؟ Yes, okay Okay, can you see my slides? Yes, it's clear بورصة البحرين. اوكي. في البداية راح طبعا مشكورين على الاستضافة. And we're glad to join you in this initiative أهلية Youth Connect. طبعا this is a great initiative that I feel it's it's gonna help you a lot as soon as you graduate from university. You can have at least a direction uh, or it can prepare you for the career market. So um, I start with uh, a brief introduction about Bahrain Bourse, and then we're going to talk about the career opportunities in the capital markets in general. Uh, I start off the presentation and then uh, my colleague Elias uh, will join will join me to talk about more about uh, uh, career opportunities. <coughs> So, uh, starting with a brief history about Bahrain Bourse, our history dates back uh, to 1987, where we started operations. Um, and in 19, uh, before uh, our name was called Bahrain Stock Exchange. Uh, in 1989, we we started operations, and in 2010, uh, Bahrain Bourse um, was restructured, restructured to become a closed shareholding company. In 2011, uh, Bahrain Bourse revealed its new uh, corporate identity to encompass a wider range of products and services. So here the, we transferred uh, from a stock exchange to a bourse, and this is where we changed our, our name to uh, Bahrain Bourse. Now the Kingdom of Bahrain uh, adopts a single regulatory model where we have the Central Bank of Bahrain encompass, uh, encompassing um, or covering uh, three key uh, sectors, uh, which is the financial sector, insurance, and the capital market sector. And of course, Bahrain Bourse um, lies under the capital market sector. And under the CBB, we have the capital markets uh, supervisory directorate, which is mandated to uh, supervise the capital market sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain. Now, Bahrain Bourse is currently operating as a self-regulatory organization, or as an SRO, reporting to an independent board of directors. Now, when we talk about stock exchanges in general, we are referring, referring to the marketplace where we have buyers uh, and sellers meeting to exchange um, uh, the trading of uh, securities or equities uh, by um, listed companies. So in the primary market, we have the buyers are the investors and the sellers uh, are the listed companies. So uh, in the prim primary market, this is where the company first lists its shares for the public or offers its share for the public. While in the secondary market, um, the exchange happens between the buy, the buy investors and the seller investors. So between the investors themselves, and we have the brokers uh, acting as an inter intermediary between the buyers and the sellers. So the broker, the Dalal. Okay. And the broker's, uh, of course, responsibility to buy and sell on behalf of investors. So if you want to start tr uh, trading at Bahrain Bourse, the first step you have to do is to open an account at Bahrain Clear. Now, Bahrain Clear is a fully owned subsidiary of Bahrain Bourse, 
which is responsible for um, opening accounts, uh, dividend distribution, uh, settlement, and central depository. Once you open an account uh, at Bahrain Clear, now this is very similar to opening an account at um, any bank, uh, you will have to select one of the licensed brokers. We have a total of 10 brokers, and you will have to uh, open another account with uh, one of them. Then you will give your orders, buy and sell orders to the broker. And finally, you will place uh, or give the broker your buy and sell orders to enter them into the system. Now, all transactions will be uh, will take place between 9.30 a.m. to 1, 1 p.m. Any transactions before or after this time will uh, remain pending in the system. So this is the trading session, 9.30 to 1 p.m. Now, of course, it's very important uh, if you want to invest at Bahrain Bourse or any other stock market is to read the financials of the companies, uh, have a look at the trading history, um, follow or monitor the disclosures on the websites. Um, and of course, Bahrain Bourse's website uh, is here. All companies' news and disclosures uh, are there. Now, in 2017, um, Bahrain Bourse launched a, a new initiative that allows um, investors to uh, trade online. And this is called Bahrain Trade. So um, if you have an account in one of those retail banks, Khaliji Commercial Bank, Ahli United Bank, or NBB, then you can open a, a trading account and you can start without the need uh, of a broker. Now at Bahrain Bourse, there are uh, various asset classes or instruments that you can invest in, uh, starting with equities or stocks. Uh, this is the word is used inter in interchangeably. S home, uh, yeah, basically S home equities, and these represent uh, ownership in a company. So as a shareholder or a stockholder, you have the right to claim on the company's assets or earnings. Uh, we currently have a total of 42 listed companies at Bahrain Bourse. Uh, we also, also have a couple of mutual funds listed, and these uh, basically pool uh, money from uh, investors and invest them in other instruments such as um, uh, stocks, uh, options, commodities. And the advantage of investing in the mutual funds is that you can benefit from the experience of the fund manager. We also have bonds on Sukuk, and these are uh, fixed income securities uh, that entitle holders to a predetermined return and repayment of the principal at maturity. So uh, the majority of bonds on Sukuk are issued by the Central Bank of Bahrain on behalf of the government. So as I said, uh, fixed income, so you know what you're, sorry, fixed returns, so you know what you're getting. Basically, if you invest with a certain amount, you can get the whole amount at maturity plus the accumulated returns. And these are, of course, if you don't want to take the risk of investing in stocks or equities, you can go for bonds and sukuk, because there's uh, almost no risk in that. And another uh, instrument, very important instrument that is also issued by government is the Treasury bills, Udunat uh, al-Khazina. And unlike bonds on Sukuk, who have a maturity of five to seven years, uh, these have a maturity of from three to 12 months only. And they are usually used to finance short-term projects. We also have a, a one REIT listed and REITs REIT, of course, since it stands for uh, Real Estate Investment Trust. And finally, we have the Bahrain Investment Market, and this is an innovative market launched in 2017, uh, designed for fast growing companies. Uh, it's just it's a cost effective and time effective way to um, raise capital. We currently have just one company listed there. So for those companies that do not meet the requirements of uh, listing in the regular market, they can opt for the uh, Bahrain investment market. So when, when it comes to uh, 
uh, capital requirements, this requires just uh, half a million, while the regular market requir requires one million as an initial capital. Now, when we talk about um, the market performance in general, we usually look at um, several indicators or figures. Uh, to start with an index, I'm sure you heard about the S&P 500 index, Dow Jones index. Uh, at Bahrain Bourse, we have um, the Bahrain All Share Index, which includes um, all local listed companies. And we have the Bahrain Islamic Index, which includes only the Sharia compliant ones. And currently it includes uh, a total of 16 companies. Um, we also look at the value now. At the end of the trading session, these figures are very important. So the, when we say value, by the value of shares, we're referring to the قيمه الاسهم المتداوله, which is in the range of um, 1 million, maybe 1 million, 1 to 2 million uh, on average. Uh, volume, volume of shares are uh, traded is the كمية الأسهم المتداولة. Uh, again, it's in the range of uh, four to five million. Transactions, اللي هي عدد الصفقات. And market capitalization is القيمة السوقية. And it's calculated by uh, multiplying the outstanding shares times the current market prices. And the market cap of um, Bahrain Bourse is in the range of 10, 10 billion. Now I'll hand it over to uh, my colleague Elias to talk more about the capital market ecosystem and the opportunities available there. And I think we're going to take your questions. At Samin, uh, Allah. Mashkura Sana. Shukran Jaziran al Fariq for Jamal Ali al Sulafa. I'll be taking it uh, from there. Um, so now I think you can keep it um, like that. We switch as I go. You can ask her. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So um, uh, this is basically the, the capital market ecosystem. And um, these are um, the areas that you can um, specialize and build your career upon. Um, so we have, for example, um, the bite side uh, firms. Uh, Sana mentioned earlier about uh, mutual funds, where um, those are uh, uh, It's basically um, firms that um, take money from pools, different pools, and then invest them in specific stocks. So um, you can actually specialize um, in, in that area. You can become uh, or you can work uh, under a company that um, is listed as a mutual fund um, in a capital market. We also have brokers we also mentioned um, before. So um, uh, in terms of brokers, um, you will be the person responsible of, you know, um, bringing the buyer and, and, and seller together. Because after all, the investors will place or, or will send his orders to the broker and then that broker will place the orders in the system. And then you have the sell side firms. Sell side firms is basically within the same area of buy side firm. And um, those are people who look into um, uh, the financial performance of the market, um, promoting um, those, uh, those funds that uh, uh, investors might be interested in. So you can also um, be building your career um, uh, through that area. Uh, we have technology providers. Um, I don't know if you guys heard uh, about NASDAQ before. Um, NASDAQ is basically um, a, a stock exchange in, in the US. Um, which acts more like a, an OTC market, which is um, over the counter market. Um, and they have a system, uh, actually a very intelligent um, system, um, which is also applied uh, in different stock exchange markets. Um, so you can also, um, you know, specialize in that area, um, become more aware about the, the technology, how we can implement those technologies, and so on. Um, you have issuers. Um, basically, issuers here are the, cap uh, the, the companies, sorry, that um, issue their uh, their stocks uh, in a capital market. You might also specialize in that area. Uh, clearing house, um, more specifically in Bahrain Bourse, it's called Bahrain Clear. 
Uh, Bahrain Clear is a subsidiary of um, Bahrain Bourse. It's fully owned by Bahrain Bourse. And they are responsible um, for, for clearing and uh, settlement. So basically, any after the market or before the market, um, when you place the stocks or you send your, uh, sorry, your orders to the brokers, um, the brokers then initiate um, that, uh, place that order, which is then um, initiated uh, and cleared by Bahrain Clear. And then you know the settlement um, between um, Bahrain Bourse and the bank happens also through Bahrain Clear. So there's um, many positions or many areas you can specialize within Bahrain Clear itself. So there's different types of tasks that you can also take there and different um, types of um, qualifications you can go for um, when you are thinking of working uh, in, in a clearing house. And last but not least, you have um, the market data providers. Um, you might also uh, have heard of um, Bloomberg and Refinitiv. Um, basically, um, they provide you, uh, they provide the public with um, or, or, or other companies with data regarding um, the performance of capital markets. And basically, they take this um, data and they analyze them and they um, repackage them or, or um, rephrase them so it's easier and better for um, for investors to look at. So you can also um, become part of um, of that place or area, right? So this is basically a general idea of how the ecosystem in a capital market industry um, happens. And these are names of positions, examples of positions in each area. So a broker, you would be a broker, obviously. Buy side firms, um, you can be a portfolio manager, a person who uh, manages um, investors' portfolio. You can be an investment advisor to advise investors on, on, on what, what to go for. Then in sell side firms, um, you can be a financial analyst looking into um, different um, areas regarding financial um, uh, status of uh, different markets and industries. For technology providers, um, you can be a system developer. Um, there is a lot to learn and a lot to put in and invest in technology. So um, you, you, you can become, you know, a developer and come up with ideas that it's still not out there yet. Um, for issuers, um, you can be, uh, you can work as an investor relations officer, clearing house. You can become customer service representative. Um, you know, um, dealing with investors, solving their problems, um, listening to their, uh, to, to their complaints and trying to solve them. Um, share registrar specialist. For market data providers, you can be a data analytic. Uh, uh, analytic. Um, so basically, if you are, um, you know, if, if you think you're interested and you're speciali specialized in analysis, um, you know, there's different types of, uh, of analysis you can do there. We, we talked about financial and this is the data analysis, right? Now, the most important um, uh, part uh, I want to focus on during this presentation is um, the examples of positions you can be in um, in a capital market itself, such as Bahrain Bourse. You can work uh, in under trading operations. So trading operations are basically um, the department responsible for um, managing the trading and making sure that there is uh, no conflict, um, no no issues um, during trading. You can also work as a compliance uh, specialist. Um, risk analyst, listing and disclosure, uh, fintech uh, development, um, and for to, to to in order to build your career towards that and make sure you have the best opportunity um, over the rest of candidates in working in these areas, there are different courses and different um, seminars that you can attend to, which takes us to the next slide, which is basically um, uh, the investment academy. Uh, oh, sorry, before that, let's talk uh, about the um, the trends first. So the next slide would be the Investment Academy. So the emerging trends um, happening um, within the market nowadays is um, rise of fintech. So now fintech is really growing up and um, developing over, over time. So this is actually an opportunity for you guys. You guys who think um, you, you have a background in finance and you're interested in, 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 in applying those financial solutions. Fintech is a very, very massive area and there is always an opportunity for you um, to grow and, you know, build up 
um, your, your qualifications and go ahead and be, you know, or take an important position in that area. Um, we have um, the adoption of uh, blockchain technologies. So um, basically, the, the, the way that data are stored, uh, the, the, blo the blockchain um, uh, complex is, is going is, is becoming even more complicated, even more advanced. This also creates opportunity for you guys. Um, the emergence of uh, new data architecture, again, um, the, the way that um, things are, are being um, structured uh, when it comes to technology and you know how to import and export data. It's all becoming even more advanced nowadays. Cloud-based applications, um, I mean, most applications uh, that has like, you know, um, data and, uh, you know, uh, the user um, integrating with different information, uh, saving and, and transferring, there is no way that those applications don't have a cloud system. Cloud system is becoming a very, basic uh, and important part of every application right now. So if you have that knowledge, you have that interest in, in understanding how the cloud uh, works, that's also an opportunity for you. Um, you have the increased focus on data analytics. Again, we talked about this before. Seamless stake, uh, stakeholder experience. Nowadays, stakeholders um, are like, you know, capital markets and different markets are trying to um, to provide that seamless experience to the stakeholders as much as they can. So things are being more advanced. Things are being more um, easy for the for the stakeholders. So you need to look into how you can make it even more seamless to them. Um, integrated uh, compliance and risk management solutions. Again, um, if you're interested in you know how, uh, managing risks and finding the solutions, you can also build up your career towards that. And last but not least, the rise of uh, RegTech. So in addition to FinTech, um, the way uh, regulations um, are being placed, um, the different system, the different, um, you know, um, regulatory system that is happening in, in, in terms of, of technology is also um, getting more advanced. So you can also work towards that area as well. Now, um, this is the slide I was looking for earlier, which is the Investment Academy. Um, so basically, um, if you are interested in those um, areas we talked about regarding the ecosystem, these are courses and skills that you need to look for, let's say, as a start for you to build up that career. So, um, you know, in collaboration with BIBF, um, we came up with a program called Investment Academy. And uh, this, this Investment Academy program has, sorry, has um, different, um, uh, you know, types of degrees you can go ahead for, like master's degree, which has um, um, the investment banking and capital markets and, um, and financial engineering. And then you have professional degrees um, such as CFA, Series 7, um, Series 79, um, SEI dealing certificate and certified investor relations officer. So those are professional degrees you can guys go ahead for. Um, to advance your knowledge and experience regarding um, capital markets, how the regulations work, um, how, how things are being more advanced. Um, you know, all you need to know about capital markets to make yourself ready to go ahead and start, um, uh, you know, um, taking your career towards that path, the path of the capital market ecosystem. And the key program skills um, that you need to look for, which these degrees will provide you, um, is um, technical skills and quantitative methods. So things like computer programming, investment management, all those things that, again, as we as we mentioned before, will help you in um, developing yourself and learning the skills necessary um, to become, you know, a professional um, uh, solution provider to fintech. Uh, learn how and um, from where to source accurate, consistent data. Again, um, if you want to be an analytic, um, you want to know how to source um, or how, where, which source you need to, um, to base your information on. And these courses, these skills um, that you will get from these courses and from, from your um, experience will guide you on how to actually anal uh, analyze data and implement them within um, your industry. Understand how banking and capital markets um, regulations affect daily financial practices. So the relationship between 
fintech and regtech could be also an example. Uh, by by having the skill, you will be able to, you know, to to know the the effects of um, regulation and and and, and the financial parts of the capital markets uh, on the market itself, right? Um, strong quantitative uh, quantitative uh, analytics and to develop expertise in investment management and in the functioning uh, functioning and regulation of equity and debt capital markets. So these are the things that will really help you to kickstart and go ahead and build that career. So um, uh, basically the Investment uh, Academy has also those um, um, small courses that can also help you uh, as well, such as the introduction to treasury, where you're going to learn more about tre how treasury work, um, portfolio management. Again, if you want to be on the, um, remember the buy side, when we say that you, if, if you would like to be a special, uh, um, to specialize in uh, portfolio management, this is the course for you. Then you have the repo market, corporate finance, uh, foreign exchange level one and two, money markets level one and two, derivatives, if you're also interested in learning more about derivatives, um, private equity and venture um, capital, fixed income management, uh, portfolio management, and saving and investment seminar. There is one um, one important seminar I want to focus on for now is this um, investment and saving seminar. This is a very um, beneficial and, and valuable um, seminar uh, for you guys to kickstart um, your your career because um, these courses teach you different um, different information and give you that that's the, those skills and um, learning that you need to start your career. But the investment and savings seminar is the very basic seminar, and it's free, by the way. It's it's a two-hour um, seminar, which goes for free, and it gives you that, those fundamental um, knowledge and information about how investment works and what is what what are tips on you know um, uh, professionally investing in a capital market. This um, occurs um, uh, monthly, once a month. Um, it has three levels, um, beginners, uh, intermediate, and advanced. Um, you can register to this seminar through our website. You have the link below. This link um, shows you all these courses that we just talked about, all the courses and the details about these courses and how much they cost and how to register. But again, you can also visit that link to um, to start registering for the investment and savings seminar, which will give you that very first, um, uh, you know, um, start ahead, All right? So those are the um, courses in the Investment Academy. Now, um, in order to make sure that um, as many people um, in, in, in the society are uh, aware about investment and the importance of, you know, understanding capital markets, we have different um, programs within our um, social, uh, corporate social responsibility. An example is TradeQuest. You probably heard of TradeQuest now that you are um, in Al Ahli University. Um, so basically, TradeQuest is a competition um, between um, high schools or universities. There are different categories. So uh, during this competition, um, students in form of teams will uh, compete in trading. So they will try to trade in different um, stocks and make sure to try to get the highest portfolio as they can. And there are also presentations um, that they will need to, to, to present during uh, the program. So the target audience here is the secondary schools and universities. Uh, markets that you will be investing in uh, are Bahrain Bourse, New York Stock Exchange, and NASDAQ. And the, the, the duration of the program goes for around five to six months. Um, and again, um, you will be, uh, as a team, you will be presenting your results, um, what were the trades that you made, um, and uh, what were the outcome of those trades in four presentations. Strategy presentation, which talks about your strategy as a team. Then you have trading period one, trading period two, and trading period three, because there are three tra uh, trading period within the program in which you will be trading. And finally, there will be um, an award ceremony where the uh, participants will get certificates and the winning teams will get uh, cash prizes, all right? Um, and then we need also to make sure that the younger generation, um, the students from the elementary schools are also um, aware 
um, at least the basics of saving, how important saving is, how important investing your money in the right place is. That's why we have a program called the Smart Investor. So the target here uh, is students from elementary um, schools from grade four around the Kingdom of Bahrain. So basically, um, with um, collaboration with Injaz, um, we go to different schools um, in Bahrain and we teach um, students from, the, from grade four about the importance of saving their money, um, planning ahead before you go and spend your money around, um, different different types of you know um, of, of investment. For example, you can invest your money in bank and so on. So those general basic financial knowledge that is you know um, modified so it's acknowledgeable and you know understandable by those um, younger generation. All right. Now the latest program um, uh, that we introduced um, the, at the beginning of this year is Capital Market Apprenticeship um, Program. So basically, um, students who, who recently graduated, or, or let's say graduates in general, um, who have a bachelor degree at least, will be having the chance to, um, to, to, to enter or join this program with Bahrain Boards where uh, few graduates will be selected based on the interviews that, that we're gonna run with them. And those um, uh, graduates will be um, joining the program as interns, where they will be um, going to different departments within Bahrain Bourse, experiencing different types of tasks, different types of work, um, just like the employees do. So, so, so as interns, you will come at 7.30 and leave at 3, just like a normal employee. And every uh, three or four weeks, um, you will be um, going to a different department. So you will be experiencing different departments, the fundamental departments, within um, behind boards, such as mar uh, the marketing department, uh, the trading operation, behind clear, listing and disclosure, and so on. All right, and this is very important for them because it gives you, it gives them the experience, the, that, that first-hand experience on what it is to, to work in, um, in such departments in a capital market. And they will learn that experience and put them into their, uh, their resume, which is basically building their own career. So this is also a good idea for you guys. Um, if you graduated, inshallah, uh, from Mustaqbal, um, once you you know you have the chance, you can look into this program and um, and register for it. So um, you have a chance to 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 join behind bars as interns and and get that experience. All right. So thank you all so much for um, for being here and listening to our presentation. Um, if you have any questions, me and Sena are here, so please feel completely free to ask any questions you have. Any questions? Um, Ali Hussain Ahmed. Yes, yes. First, thank you, thank Elias you, and Sena, for, for the presentation. presentation. I thought that maybe Professor Jassim will start the questions, but maybe he's busy. I just have a, a simple question for uh, Sada. You mentioned that it changes the Bahrain exchange to Bourse. Actually, what is the difference between the two terms? Stock exchange um, and Bourse. I think they are similar, but maybe you can elaborate. Uh, you're muted, Sana. We can't hear you. Um, you're okay. still muted. Yes. You can hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. So uh, you were asking about the difference in the words. Basically, there's no difference. Uh, the words are used interchangeably. Equities, uh, market, stock exchange, uh, bourse, uh, they all mean the same. It's just that I mentioned that we rebranded and changed our name um, in 2010, uh, 2010 to encompass a wider range of products and services. So that's basically it. So. 
I hope I answered your question. Yeah, just it was because you know that uh, if I'm not wrong, the force was used like in France because there was a house and they were gathering and sailing and buying. So that's why yeah, I was thinking. With, uh, 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 yes, <laughs> the history behind it, it started, I think, in uh, Belgium, Belgium, I think. And uh, they referred to boards as purse. And this is where the uh, the place where you, they used to meet uh, and they started um, investing in equities. And this is the history about it. But nowadays it's used um, interchangeably. Yeah. Thank you. Any more questions? Any more questions before we thank our uh, uh, great guest speaker? الأستاذ إلياس يوسف والأستاذ سناء عبد الرضا ساكم الله بالخير مرة ثانية شكرا لكم أستاذ إلياس طيبين إن شاء الله ما شاء الله متحدث متمكن والأستاذ أيضا الأستاذ سناء نفس الشيء فإحنا عن جد يعني سعيدين بالاستفادة واستفدنا الكثير من محاضرتكم القيمة طبعا ما أدري بالنسبة إلى الطلبة يعني الآن إحنا مع بورصة البحرين وانتم عارفين شنو اهميتها فما ادري اذا عندكم اي سؤال شيء توجهونه لاداره بورصة البحرين بامكانكم. دكتور علي حسين تفضل يبدو ان انت رافع ايدك تفضل دكتور علي. هم اعطوني مجال بس بعد بواصل اذا ما كان في اسئله ليش ال... حاليا بس وي هاف اونلي ذا ثرو ذا بروكرز يو كان دو ذا تريدنج. ازنت لايك يو هاف ان ذا لونج ران تو تشينج ات ميبي the people themselves they will trade who حاليا نفس ما ما ذكرت انه هو yes you have to go through a broker but in 2017 we launched a new solution that allows um, investors to trade through one of the retail banks the participating banks that ذكر ال yeah yeah so this will allow you to trade without the need of the broker so you can do it online. It's so just that we, you have to. Mm, yes. Yeah, we have 42 listed companies. Like, mm -hmm. Is it going to be increased in the or like there are some of them going to IBO or like still 42? In the meantime, no. The COVID affected the, the stock market. يعني البورصة في البحرين والجي سي سي ان جنرال فان شاء الله وي هوب تو سي مور كومبانيز ليستنج يا ذس نيكست يير او الكومينج يير لان في ذي وير سم اوف ذيم ان ذا بايب لاين يعني سو وي هوب تو سي اي ويل ستوب هير ايم نوت جوينج تو جو اوفر لايك تكنيكال كويستشنز عبد الناصر اي ثينك الشيخ فضيله الشيخ عبد الناصر السلام عليكم ورحمه الله جزاكم الله خير يا سناء والياس السلام سؤالي الله يسلمكم انتم طرحتوا مع سي بي بي مشروع في تداول الاسهم بدل تداول السلع الدوليه في في لندن وغيرها من البورصات وهذا شيء جدا اسعدنا وخذيته البروسس يعني جدا ممتاز من ناحيه الاستشاري اللي موجود عندكم في البورصه والسي بي بي والمجلس الشرعي اللي معين في البنك المركزي فما ادري وين وصلت او يعني هذه حصه يعني حرام ان تروح حق البروكر اللي موجود خارج المنطقه الاقليميه بينما يعني البحرين يعني بحاجه حق هال الفيز اللي يتحقق من الاسهم والسلع. بس بغيت اتاكد استاذ تتكلم عن المرابحه قصدك؟ اي نعم اللي هي اللي بتكون بين السي بي بي ومن بين البورصه ومع البنوك إيه إيه. الاسلاميه. امم هو حاليا في يعني بنوك اسلاميه اوريدي ذي اوبتد فور ذا سيرفيس اند ذي ار بروفايدنج تو ذير كلاينتس. عندنا تقريبا صاروا 11 او 12 بانكس فلا للحين يعني شغالين احنا على الموضوع وفي في عليه اكتيفيتي يعني يعني هل, يعني 
yeah. دخل دخل المعاملات يعني دخلت لايف ولا وتم التداول ولا لحد الان في البروسس لا لا صار اوريدي بس انه هو يمكن حاليا يمكن ما تشوفون ديسكلوجر yeah. لان اتس سبريت ماركت يعني في الديلي ريبورتس هاي والويب سايت وي ان ذا مين تايم وي ار نوت ديسكلوزنج ات من كذي بس هو للحين يعني اتس ذير اند وي ار اتس فولي اوبريشنال يعني ويز ذا اسلامك بانكس ممتاز الله يعطيكم العافيه ان شاء الله الله يعافيك شكرا على مداخلتك فضيله الشيخ ناصر الله يطول لي عمرك يحفظك ما ادري اعزائي الطلبه عندكم اي سؤال قبل ما ننهي ويصدر الستار وختامها مسك ايضا من بورصه البحرين اذا عندكم اي سؤال اخر اي احد من الجيست سبيكر عنده اي سؤال من 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 المصارف الاخرى من البنوك الاخرى اذا ود يوجه اي سؤال اتصور ان احنا انتهينا لهذا اليوم، اليوم كان جدا ما شاء الله مشرف وحافل في اكثر من عشر جهات منها مصرف البحرين المركزي، بنك السلام، البركه جروب، المصرف الخليجي التجاري وبورصه البحرين، فنشكر المتحدثان الاستاذ يوسف الياس يوسف والاستاذه سناء عبد الرضا على ما تفضل به من معلومات قيمه أثرت معلوماتنا جميعا في هذا القطاع الهام فشكرا جزيلا لكم وعلى أمل اللقاء بكم إن شاء الله مجددا وإن كان بالإمكان نحن نشوفكم إن شاء الله وجها لوجه خلال الأيام القادمة إن شاء الله مشكورين على الاستضافة مشكورين على الاستضافة وفرصة سعيدة إن شاء الله استفدتم من البرزنتيشن إن شاء الله ويعطيكم العافية الله يعافيكم ما قصرتوا الله يسلمك بلغوا تحياتنا للاداره العليا شكرا جزيلا شكرا ان شاء الله مشكورين ونشوفكم ان شاء الله بكره ان شاء الله في الفندق حياكم الله ان شاء الله ان شاء الله في امان الله مع السلامه مع السلامه